Hello there, I'm Dr. Kara of KH Evolution, and I want to share with you some thoughts on questioning things. So as we move through life, things seem to be really accelerating and moving quickly. And so when that happens, we can find ourselves stressed more often than not and feeling really uncomfortable with the things that are happening in and around us. And so one of my passions and one of my really important um, missions is to teach people how to reconnect with themselves. So while we often move through life thinking that we are clear on what our truth is and connected to that truth, what we're really connected to are a lot of thoughts in our minds and a lot of things that we think that we know. And the truth is we don't know what we don't know that we don't know. And so uh, what I found is that um, finding greater joy and greater happiness and greater inner peace has required me to connect inward and really gain a, an understanding of um, you know, the, the essence of where my heart vibrates. It's like, what is the frequency of uh, the, my heart center and my beliefs that are held there? Because those, um, those beliefs that are in the core of your being really speak to uh, your moral fiber and they speak to um, your inner navigation system, that intuitive guidance that, uh, you know, we might refer to it as mother's intuition, but the truth is we all have it. And that inner guidance system is so critically important when we are faced with challenges or stress or uncertainty. And uh, let's face it, there's a lot of uncertainty around us. There probably always has been, but with the acceleration and movement of uh, life, uh, just feeling as though things are moving faster than they ever have. And this evolutionary uh, period that we are in, I think that it's really important that we start uh, to question things. And so if you're on my email list, you know that this the email that may have led you to this video, I post three ways that I, uh, three things that I like to use to kind of get me into a space of, of uh, questioning myself and of course, um, questioning other people and the information that I come across. So I was uh, brought up, perhaps as you have, with this idea of don't question authority, you know, listen to authority, uh, teachers, doctors, for example, they have um, greater wisdom and, and knowledge, and so, uh, you know, respect it and don't question it. And while I believe that to be uh, true on some level that we want to respect um, everyone, all people, right? I do believe that we have uh, a responsibility to really question the information that's coming at us, entering our energy field, entering our body, our minds, and really, um, you know, assessing that information against that inner navigation system. And so three tips that I like to uh, make sure that I'm reminding myself of when um, faced with something that is difficult, I'm going to share something that I've been moving through that has been very difficult, that I've used these techniques, very simple, basic techniques, but, you know, um, getting up in the morning and, and making sure that I am mindful of these three, three things has been very helpful in not only developing myself, but keeping stress at a, at a minimum and really making sure that as I make decisions and as I question things, I am applying that inner navigation system, that truth held within me, that deep truth to the things that are coming at me and entering into my space. So the first one is just to remember that, um, that I am enough. You are enough. We're all enough. 
And wherever we are in our journey and in our process, we are enough. I find that being a professional in personal growth, that uh, it's really easy to get into this mindset or this thought process of uh, needing to uh, be better or change or strive for something or uh, to, to continue to grow. And the truth is that while that is true, I am a very big advocate for personal growth and um, you know, being the best version of yourself that you can be. I also found and know how important it is to appreciate the present moment that we're in and to be uh, clear that whatever moment we are in, it is for us. Can you hear my puppy? He, <laughs> my dog is whining. Um, so I apologize for the interruption, but he apparently has something to say about this, uh, that we are, we are reminding ourselves that this given moment is a gift and that we are enough, that we can breathe, which is my second point. Um, and just settle into our skin and recognize that wherever we are in this journey, we are enough. Um, we are, we can step outside of the paradigm of comparing ourselves to others, comparing ourselves to what we don't have, and really embrace that um, which we do have and that which we are experiencing in this moment. So reminding myself every morning, I am enough. And I just want to say to you, you are enough. And second, breathe. So pausing, taking a moment to take three deep, full cleansing breaths and really tune into that breath, being conscious of the breathing that we're doing in that moment. Our breath is the fastest way to move energy in and around us and in our bodies. And so when we take that deep breath in, we're starting to move that heaviness that we might feel in our chest or that overwhelm or that trigger of fear that we just uh, felt because of whatever uh, came at us or stepped into our awareness. And so breathing. And, and again, the key here to, uh, to the breathing is being conscious and mindful and aware of the breath that we are taking. Um, you know, we all breathe, uh, but the, the key is to really stop what we're doing, kind of uh, push the uh, experience that we're having to the periphery for just a moment so that we can turn inward and utilize that breath to move the energy in and around us so that we can have some space to then reconnect to that center point, to that intuitive guidance. And then the third point is to connect with nature. So being a shaman uh, and, and walking a shamanic way, which to me is this practice of connecting to my spirituality, connecting to that inner self through nature. Uh, nature has become a key aspect of my life and the way that I interact with it, the way that I bring it into my home so that I can have a connection with it, uh, whether it be the plants, the sky, and the sun, the moon, the animals, uh, just the, the, the ground, um, the air. So it, it is reconnecting with the natural elements of our environment and uh, allowing our bodies to really synchronize, our minds to synchronize with the, the elements in nature. Nature has this ability to really create a sense of calm and it is intelligent. And so it has a, a, a spirit to it and it can help us to recognize our own spirit and our own um, information more readily. And, and it does have a medicine, a medicine that uh, can teach us about ourselves on a physical level, a mental level, and an emotional level. All right. So um, I said that I was going to share something that was kind of personal to me. 
And many of you may or uh, probably don't know that I have been working through um, active myocarditis and pericarditis since uh, January. And this, um, this experience uh, started with significant uh, chest pain that became more significant and more alarming as time went on. And uh, I found myself in the emergency room and then admitted into the hospital at the end of January. And so I bring this up to share with you how um, the application of bringing this pattern or this uh, technique of questioning things, questioning everything, really served me well through this experience. It is, um, for those of you who do know me, you know that it's unusual for me, even being a registered nurse, uh, but also being that doctorate of natural health, it, is, it was difficult and challenging for me to, um, to identify with the need for um, medical care in a traditional hospital setting. And so I want to, you know, I want to reiterate, there's a time and a place for everything. And I am so grateful for all of the people that stepped in and helped with my care, both in uh, conventional allopathic ways and also in alternative ways. And I'm also thankful for all the tools that I had here, the homeopathics that um, we use in, here in our family every day and the essential oils and the nutrition supplements. And so there is, um, there is something to be said about having an amazing toolkit and an amazing group of people to surround ourselves with to help uh, uplift us when we are faced with challenges, whether it's physical, um, mental, emotional, doesn't matter. Um, but if I did not have this ability to really question what was um, happening to me, but also uh, what was coming at me for information um, in this time of, uh, of crisis. It was a time of crisis for myself and for our family. And if I did not have the, the tools to be able to uh, question what was coming at me and to stay grounded and connected to nature, I think that um, things could have moved very differently. And my experience could have been um, very, very different. And a look, I would have had to sift through a lot more fear and a lot more anxiety than I was already sifting through. And so um, although these three things seem very, uh, very simple, you know, to know that you're enough to breathe deeply and to connect with nature, to ground yourself, perhaps these three um, techniques or tools that I've implemented into my toolbox through my shamanic practice were life-saving in this moment. And I will call them life-saving because they helped me to move through a period of time that was extremely stressful and extremely difficult. And um, so I, um, I am just happy to be able to share these three pieces with you and uh, also let you know that I love helping people to develop these skills and these techniques as they move through their experiences in life. And I do that through my membership called uh, Harmonize and then also our um, exclusive premier membership called Ascend. So if you're interested in learning more, then uh, please, by all means, book a discovery call with me. A discovery call is absolutely free. And uh, I love connecting with you to learn um, where you're at in your life and, and what you could, um, how you could possibly benefit from implementing shamanic tools um, into your world. Remember, it's about empowerment. It's important to be self-empowered while we all need that team of people and that support and that help um, from time to time, ultimately by asking the right questions, we become 
truly empowered and connected to our own inner medicine, our own inner knowledge and wisdom. And this knowledge and wisdom becomes the navigation tool and navigation system by which we experience life and by which we make decisions in our life. So, all right, I hope you have an amazing week and that you're enjoying the sunshine that you uh, got out and, and had a pleasant experience around the solstice and uh, sending you blessings. Thanks so much for being here.